of what it is. So what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, so you might notice something a little bit new about me. Uh, my hair. <laughs> I know. My hair. Um, yeah, so I 2019 new year no me this year i decided that i'm no longer going to be wearing any wigs or weaves or extensions or anything like that anymore um because i need to let my hair breathe uh, excuse me anyway i get this question all the time kelsey you did not graduate with a bachelor's degree so how are you teaching in Korea how how are you teaching in Korea and the simple answer is I don't know how I'm teaching in Korea without a bachelor's degree because I can't do that in America but I am actually with the talk program talk stands for teach and learn in Korea the talk program is a scholarship opportunity given to students who have either a associate's degree which I have or they are in their third or fourth year of pursuing a bachelor's degree. This program is funded by the Korean government to give foreigners the opportunity to obviously teach and learn in Korea. So that is the program I am with. I am a 21st... Wow. <laughs> I am a 21st generation talk scholar so when I got to Korea I came here in August of 2018 right now it is January 2019 and I came with the program for a six month contract term so I only signed my contract for six months originally but in December I decided to renew my contract for another six months so that contract ends in July of 2019 talk is one of the very rare and few programs here in korea that you can teach with and not have a bachelor's pro bachelor's degree so with the epic program and with like jlp and other just jobs that you can get in korea they do require you to have a bachelor's degree it does not need to be an education but you do need to have a bachelor's degree whereas talk you do not in the talk program we teach for around 15 hours a week so it is like a part-time kind of thing for some people um but yeah we're supposed to be only teaching after school classes again that's subjective <laughs> based on the school but on paper uh online uh we're supposed to um only be teaching 15 hours of after school classes every week and our grade level that we teach is all elementary we do not teach any middle school or any high school compared to other programs so actually when i applied for the talk program i did not have an associate's degree yet i was still just finishing up my associate's degree but i decided to apply anyway i contacted them and said hey i will be graduating in may so does that hurt my chances of possibly getting in the program because you guys don't know if i actually graduated or not they told me yeah it's fine you just have to verify that you graduated you actually did graduate and yeah i don't think i ever did honestly i think they just assumed that i graduated because i don't ever remember following up with them with like my final transcripts like basically i sent them my current transcripts at the time when i had not graduated yet and said and it basically showed the classes that i needed to complete in order to have associate's degree so they saw that i was currently taking those classes so i guess they just assumed she must have finished them um but yeah so that is how i ended up coming here to korea teaching without a bachelor's degree it is very possible i do know that there are many 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 other ways that you can teach 
in Korea without going through talk, without going through JLP, without going through the EPIC program, there are something called hagwons. Hagwons are for hagwons are private academies or private English institutions here in Korea that can and will hire um, foreign ESL teachers here in Korea without a bachelor's degree. Now, from what I understand, most hagwons do want you to have a bachelor's degree and some type of experience here. But in my experience, I work for the talk program. Um, so I do not have a bachelor's degree, but I have experience here teaching in Korea. And so I have been offered or suggested some positions here to teach at Hagwans, although I do not have a bachelor's degree. But it is illegal for me to have any other job here in Korea because I do work for the talk program. I don't know how that goes for any other program, but I know under the talk program, we are not allowed to accept or work or have any form of any other job, even with teaching here in South Korea. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. And so with the talk program, I teach third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade. And my teaching hours are usually divided for about four hours a day, which is like nothing. Um, and even in between that, we get 30 minutes of break time for the kids to go play and have some activities. And then we have about an hour and 15 minutes of lunch. So, it's basically a part-time job, you know, um, but I do know for some teachers that that's not the case. Um, not every single school abides by the talk program rules and restrictions for teachers. Some teachers may work longer hours, some teachers may have to prepare materials for their classes, but pretty much in my program at all times we are supposed to have co-teachers. We are never solo teaching at any point um, and that goes for our curriculum classes and our after school classes. For my after school classes I am the main teacher so I do come up with resources and curriculum and things like that but for my curriculum classes I am not allowed to be coming up with any sort of lesson plans I'm solely there to help co-teach in those settings again that's the case for me um, because my school abides by those rules but I do know many schools that don't so countries that are allowed to come to Korea and teach with the talk program are people who must be citizens of Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, South Africa, the UK, and the US. No other country is an exception under the TALK program. So the TALK program for me has been a wonderful experience. Um, I personally prefer to work under the TALK program, although I do not have a bachelor's degree. Like even if I had a bachelor's degree, I would still prefer to work under the TALK program because we get pretty much almost the same exact benefits. The only difference is that with the EPIC program, the salary is a little bit higher. That's the literally like the only difference, but talk, we work like half the hours that the EPIC program works. So that's why I would prefer, even if I did have a bachelor's degree, I personally don't want to be a full-time teacher here. I like to have a lot of time to travel around Korea and do what I want to do and work on other things that I want to work on, especially if you are a student. I really, really, really recommend the talk program because of our teaching hours. You have plenty enough time to be an online student back in your home country. If you guys are applying and if you have any questions, please DM me on Instagram message me below or email me because a lot of you guys ask the same goddamn questions a lot of you guys just don't want to do your research and don't look online no tea no shade but a lot of you guys ask me the same exact questions and I kind of feel overwhelmed by it because half of them are like right on the website and then half of them are like all of the same questions so I'm gonna be making a Q&A to answer all of your questions and yeah, I hope that this video was informative, helpful. Don't forget to DM me, message me, email me, and yeah, peace out.